Hello everybody, I am Robux Cube recording live from the cubicle. So sadly, as you can see, my camera died and now I look like this. For this video, this is what you're gonna get. Boop. <laughs> It's August 2022 and we're going to play these 8 games from this month's Humble Choice brought to you by Humble Bundle. But will these games be worth our time? Well, let's find out! Wow, did they make this tape of planks? What the hell? Ah, ha, it actually... Oh my lord. This is In Sound Mind, a survival horror game by the same people who made Nightmare House 2, which is a mod for Half-Life 2, which I've never played. I've played Half-Life 2, I've just never played this mod. But I'm always up for some new horror, so let's jump in. Very curious. Playing tape. And this cat going on. Literally just got a kitten. We have a kitten in the house now. It's a whole ordeal. What the hell kind of world is this? And why is everything underwater? Kind of Lovecrafty and stuff is this. This does look very Half-Life. Maybe you should whip up your your crowbar already with the creepy music forget everything life as we know it is now out the window all indicators are indicating stay inside those indicators might be wrong you thought of that plus i am inside this is the inside is it not am i not inciding right now what the shit is that this cannot be healthy i like the color on this though it's a cool color scheme this is a creepy hallway why is this sprint don't talk to me about sprinting my camera is getting all woozy Okay, no, don't get clue. What the frick? All right, there's somebody there. How is, how was there somebody there? Creepy, dilapidated. The thing was back. Hello. Hey, it just wants to be friends. Hello. Hello. I thought you wanted to be friends. Well, I mean, that really clears things up, doesn't it? We have a key. Can I use this key? Hello, inventory. Well, hello. There we go. Plus 10 batteries. That's a lot of batteries coming in one go. Oh, great. Oh, amazing. This makes me very happy. I need a new foos. Hey, a foos. Whoever was doing their washing, I'm super sorry about that. That is uncool. Fancy elevator you got here, sir. The vibe of this game is super creepy and i'm actually all for it i like it and i've got so much battery left oh my lord it's actually opened it's my tape player wasn't there an elevator here why is it always so bright this is getting very psychedelic a cassette tape did i record this i must have stuff's changing around here um is this sound are we in an elevator oh it's the bright white light of damnation again what the hell man this game is wicked vroom vroom this is Hot Wheels Unleashed. It's an arcade racing game based on the Hot Wheels toy car units. And though I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of racing games or of Hot Wheels in any way, shape or form, this makes me so excited. I don't know why, I feel like a child. Let's go, let's jump into this. What's this grooviness? Welcome to Hot Wheels Unleashed. Let's see which vehicle await you inside of these blind boxes. There are loot boxes? I hope not. The first is free. <laughs> All right, not a lot of speed. Why would you need this much braking power if you can barely speed up. I love how they actually look like toy cars. That is amazing. Like, I was expecting them to look like actual car cars. Now, let's try out this poopy car. Oh, yes, of course, because the racetracks are all going to be Hot Wheel racetracks as well. Those orange things. See, I know some stuff about Hot Wheels. I wanted to say Hot Wings. <laughs> Hot Wing Racing? That's the game that we need. Hot Wing Racing. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Using drifting corners is important. Okay. It being an arcade game, is that does that mean it's somehow... Wow, that is very drifty. Get out of my way, losers. Keep your eye open. The road is full of surprises. Spider webs. No, not spider webs. Are you kidding me? I am in last place. Landing your vehicle perfectly like a real pro. You think that I can just easily do that. I feel like everybody is just fast. I have the slowest car in the universe as well, though. I missed a checkpoint as a thing. Now I'm never going to even remote win here we go multiplayer basement welcome to your basement we can upgrade our basement with stuff we can upgrade our basement with stuff Ooh, new car options here at least this one is fast that's what i want this time speed the fact that these are toy cars that's the one thing that gets me i find it amazing here we go at least now i have the feeling that i can actually oh shit what was that i'm immediately at 12th place 12 how can they all go so smoothly through the corners man oh my god second place yes bam that's what i'm talking about i feel good again i'm happy once again <laughs> This is fun. You can play with friends. You can play online. You can play split screen, apparently, on the same screeny as well. You can even make your own tracks. Yeah, this game. Oh, rats. 
This is a Plague Tale Innocence. It's an action adventure game set in 1349 France, where clearly some kind of creepy rat plague is going on. We have to go around as a girl protecting our little brother going through this insane story. I have already completely finished this game and I actually really, really liked it. The game does have a bit of a slow start, so I'm not sure how much I am able to show you guys today. So in essence, this is just a classic single player story driven game. So slowly but surely, we're going to get to know more about their complicated family relationship so to say oh rabbit time with the doggo as i said it has a slow start but eventually shit will hit the fan the game also has quite a lot of stealth going on long grass stealthiness always the high grass this always the high grass isn't it little tutorial moments this little slingshots of course like all other games there's also crafting gotcha there bam she threw one tiny rock at a giant wild boar and she is surprised it didn't kill it the boar is bleeding from that one tiny rock and also the boar is climbing currently all right this is disgusting i i knew there was a twist in the beginning this is not the no not the doggo hey cutie doggo As I said, twists and turns, right? It being 1349 is not amazing for your health, I would say. Hey, mom. You know you're not supposed to be here. Why are you always no, like, mom, come on. I just wanted to say hi. I haven't seen you at all. My dog died, woman. Oh, now there are horses and you care? Now you care? Fine, I'm gonna look for the brother. Where are you, brother? Will you ever be able to cure him? Yo, boy, uncured boy. There you are. It's the guy you will be keeping safe forever. These creepy people are looking for the sun, apparently. Now we have to get the hell out of the castle. So as I said, a lot of stealth going on. Woman. Lords. Am I supposed to go this way or am I supposed to go the other way? Alright, let's get the hell out of here. We're not getting the hell out of here. Hello. Away. Thanks, mom. I knew there was something about you that made you cool, but I do highly recommend this. It's a fun, fun and exciting experience. Next! This is The Ascent. It's an action shooter RPG. So from top down, we will be controlling our character running around in this wicked sci-fi world. At least it's a very red menu. Let's, that's the one thing I know for sure. It's a very, very red menu. Character customization. Ta-da! There we go. Beautiful. Ooh, we can already walk around and everything. Oh, there we go. Objective tracker. That's useful. We can also dash like this. It's very nice. Authorize, please. Wow, we have the same hair. Look at you. Did we go? Wow, excuse me. You're standing in front of my character i was <laughs> what is this we were just telling each other how we have the same hairstylist thank you but they're conveying the story to you by talking but also by text smoochers there we go we hacked the door that's something we found enemies i wish i could sprint for some reason i can only do the jumping and it's not my favorite thing okay wait i am playing with a controller which apparently just does not work so let me just try this all right mouse and keyboard apparently because man i am very confused all of that missed. I should just not aim. Aiming makes me miss everything, apparently. It makes no sense to me. Alright, new weapon. I think you just have unlimited ammunition as well. Level up? Yes. <sighs> wow, real proper RPG elements. Look at this. Augmentations? Skills? Yes. Is the city going to explode now or something? None of this sounds positive. This does not sound very positive. Wow, look at those special effects. Huge explosions. It feels a bit quirky here and there, but generally, this is really, really cool. What the hell? Boss battle. The music in the game is also quite cool and noteworthy. Bam, get out of here. Give me all your magical mula augmentation abilities. Hey, guys. <laughs> Excuse me? That's so cool. I am loving it. They're playing around with perspective in the game, which is pretty cool. It does mean that you can't turn the camera. Holy hell. Some kind of hub world situation. You can talk with people. There are shops and everything. Stylist. Oh, I did my hair with the same guy here at the stylist. Of course we did. Love it. One of those. This is Gas Station Simulator. This is the simulation game we're getting in the bundle this month. So in this game, we're going to maintain and upgrade our gas station. It's one of those classic American gas stations. And this looks terrifying. Well, at least you know we're somewhere near the gas station simulator station. This is terrifying. Uh, uh, uh. Yeet the trash! Ah, no! It's a bit janky. 
So it's also our house. It is the middle of nowhere. It's our house. Wow. This is the gas station. Why did you buy this? Can't believe this. Oh, uh, yes. The gas pump. I did not expect us to just find this in such a dilapidated state. Look at this. What is this? You bought all this junk as well. I'm saying junk, but I think I see a toy car, which immediately makes this a worthwhile expense. <laughs> I can't sprint. I want to be able to sprint. Get into the mini excavator. <gasps> is that us? This game didn't even have character customization. Can you believe it? Remove the sand piles in front of the gas pump. No fuel at <laughs> a gas station? That is ironic. So like, weirdly enough, apparently we do actually have gas at the station. So there is this abandoned station clearly i mean completely abandoned right there's this completely abandoned station that we bought and apparently we bought it with all this stuff that's just lying here but then also with gasoline 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 you know the stuff that makes cars go vroom vroom there is a whole mechanic where the motor can overheat ah now we're open open bowling center that's the game that i do actually want bowling center simulator what is this gas station level one delivery fuel supply order we're buying new fuel can't talk with <gasps> terrifying what the hell is this oh, why why is this always a thing in these games wait did we just open up the gas station without actually having gas. Please don't keep, please keep driving for now. No, I don't have gas. Excuse me. Freaking hell. Are you kidding me? This is my life. Gotta buy fuel. Got no fuel whatsoever. No, the, the oil is here. No, woman, wait, wait, wait. Why did I have to open the store if they're just letting this happen? Why am I on top of her car? Like, why is this possible? Okay, bye. Bye gas station. What the hell? This is Mind Scanners, a simulation game where we play a mind scanner and have to treat patients and citizens of the structure. And with treat and diagnose, I mean we have to normalize the citizens. If you know what I mean, if you catch my drift. This whole thing really makes me think of papers, please, like right away. Request to visit your daughter, denied. Greetings, Mind Scanner. For each completed treatment, you will receive 15 kapok. If you can't pay maintenance at the end of each day, you will be exiled from the structure and thrown into the outer zone can't be positive a citizen is in need of attention go pay him a visit true nature enthusiast is that why his head looks like a bush hello swoosh swoosh is he okay oh these are insanity types and the amount of insanities he has start treatment and remove his insanity before time runs out let's jump to treatment what am i supposed to do all right there we go eradicate it kill it get that insanity out of here you will forever be normal treatment complete there we go 15 kapok. Yes, you are not an oak tree. This is correct. I really like this. It's very weird. And seven maintenance. Holy shit. Oh, we have trouble time. Parasite of the structure. Oh no. Second you see this slump punk woman, it is clear that she is heavily pregnant. She's convinced her child is a robot. She is insane. Robo phytosis. All right, so now we're going to treat it. Let's do the treatment. Here we go. We got something new. Show this blood sample. Confirm the match. There we go. That was it. She these are a lot of these insanity typies, by the way. Okay, this is it. We have to switch devices. Wow, that looks terrifying. Ah, my baby, my sweet little boy is human. We are keeping your daughter at the Institute for further examination. She is an interesting subject. You should be proud. I want my freaking daughter back. What do you think of that? You can't just take my child! It's not okay! Holy hell. Um, salutations. It is I, Pipitu, magician, reader of the skies, truth seeker, advisor to kings. Pray tell me, who are you? I'm just gonna say he is sane. Sane? Sure. You are sane. You are normal. You are the reflector. You don't need treatment. He probably need a treatment. This is fun. It's weird. Really weird. But cool! So much color! This is Omno, an adventure game where we explore this colorful, cute, cartoony world. On the way, we will uncover lots of puzzles and mysteries that we can uncover and discover what's going on. Okay, well, let's try this. Uh, freaking. We already had our widescreens of death this month. Here we are. Look at that. Hold jump to jump higher. Checkpoints. All right. Hello, froggies. Interesting. This is... What is this? It's all very intriguing. Hello. What is our staff? Heed the call. Set out on your journey. Follow the path to the light. Do it now. Go, mysterious figure. Go and explore the light. I don't know where that was, but it's fine. Oh, 
brick. Oh, walking through the sludge. Not what I wanted. And we're on our way for adventure once again. Oh, where are you going? Excuse me, what is this? Who are you guys? And why are you all cheering? And so, okay. What is this magic? The lights. It's the lights that we have to follow. Okay. whack lumps Some say they are more plant than animal. They look like deflated balloons wearing square glasses. It's just my professional opinion. <laughs> Oh, that shows us the way we have to go? It does. That is pretty cool. These white smoochers are being collected. Gather more energy. Okay, so we're collecting energy so we can smooch it into whatever that thing is. Dang it. Now, we can do this pillar thing. Full of energy. I am charged with energy suddenly. Is this the one we needed? It is. Curious if we're gonna enter like different colored biomes and stuff. Right now it's all greeny. Always starts with green. Freaking Mario rules or whatever. Easy. Just slow, slowly but surely they're throwing in the puzzle elements, I guess. But slowly, I mean slowly. Are we then transported somewhere else? We are transported somewhere else. Yeah, this is a very chill and pretty experience. Not agreeing with this brightness. Well, different biome. This is what I asked for. It's still greenish, but it's also rocky, I guess. Dash. Doing the old jump and dash wow i like it last one welcome to the emily is a setup wizard with this firefox look what's going on oh my god it's a lot of terms and conditions you got oh wow this is emily is away three this game takes us back to the old days of social media platforms completing the emily is away three setup wizard this was all for the sake of immersion so about it feeling immersed yet Bling, bling. I guess this is just immediately the game. It is very, very bright. Here we are. Face Nook. Yes, start. Oh my God, I love this. I want to change my name to nobody on Facebook so that on Face Nook. Wow, I'm going to mispronounce this a million times. When I see someone post something stupid, I can like it. And then Face Nook will say nobody likes this. That is so bad. This is not my style of game, but if it is yours, then jump in. Wait, maybe if I put some chill music in the background, maybe then it is more enjoyable. Let me just... You joined Face Nook 12 years ago. So the year's 2020, not the olden days of Face Nook. I am confused. Wow. Now it is 2008, so there we go. Username. Rob. Why is there keyboard sound effects? I have a keyboard in front of me. Rob X Cube. <laughs> Oh my god, you made a profile. Goodbye, Summer Held. What is this? Yo, Rob. Uh, uh, yo. To type the message. Wow, I am so immersed right now. So this is the third game in this series. And it's an interactive novel type of thing. I'm making a playlist for Kelly and we're arguing. I'm not gonna. I am not going to. I find this horrendously boring. YouTube! It opened YouTube! Oh my god, that's this is really funny. <laughs> it is weird, but it's certainly immersive. What the hell is this? And that was it. I really enjoyed these games, to be honest. There were some games I really wanted to try, plus a Plague Tales, which I really liked. But I was pleasantly surprised with some of these games as well. And then, of course, there's a game that you have to be in the mood for. And then there, of course, is a game that I wouldn't touch with a 10-foot pole ever again. But all in all, yes, I do recommend this bundle. It's fun. But what about you? Did you see anything that you would like to try? Let me know in the comments down below and let's start games. And as always, if you like what you saw, you please like, subscribe, and join the cubicle. And I will see you in the next one. Bye! So we've been joking about these RPG elements for a couple of months now. And I'm really curious what you guys think about that. Since a lot of games have some form of RPG elements. And almost all games are now a combination of something. But is that something positive? Or would we want games to be more focused? Personally, I just feel like the market's kind of saturated with all these games doing a little bit of everything. But we'll see. Maybe next month.